Hello everybody, my name is Spoons Rattling, and welcome to how I'm going to run my uh, Lord of Skulls when I do on occasion in my Alpha Legion army, even though none of the synergies here are particularly Alpha Legion uh, specific except for one. So let's get started. Uh, first up is the loadout. Since all the weapons went to go uh, being free, I figured I would use the uh, Daemon Gore Cannon and the Skull Hurler. I feel that they're both sort of the most well-rounded. Uh, they're less susceptible to modifiers because they're both three damage or more always. And uh, it makes it a decent threat against most targets, infantry, uh, hordes, and tanks. Uh, especially with the buffs we're going to put on it, speaking of. The Lord of Skulls is practically a quarter of your army, so I plan to buff it as much as possible. And in Alpha Legion, I really only have two buffing pieces, as I don't have the Warlord traits and such of, say, the Iron Warriors. It would definitely be better than at this, but I personally run Alpha Legion. The first one is the Warpsmith, to give plus one to hit and a uh, healing, of course, at the end of the movement phase. And the Master of Possession can give plus one to wound and a four plus invulnerable save. Now, the plus one to wound isn't too important when you're, you know, uh, strength 16. Uh, but when it really comes into its own is sweep attacks, uh, where those are important. Uh, especially against, say, like, toughness 5 infantry. Or uh, light vehicles that would probably just be better to just swing with all those extra attacks for any variety of reasons. Uh, in terms of relics, I'd give the smith the mind veil to help him keep up with the... Uh, the tank, the Lord of Skulls, and the Master of Possession would probably get the Zinch plus one to cast Relic, um, as to just make his couple things like Cursed Earth uh, more reliable, as that's the main thing. Giving him that four plus invulnerable save makes him obscenely hard to shift, especially with the strategy to reduce damage, which would definitely see a lot of use in this situation. So we'll do some quick damage calcs using percentages and math and all that jazz. So on its base uh, profile, top uh, bracket, it has six attacks, strength eight, hitting on threes at both range and in melee. So hitting, at least in perfect statistic condition, 66.6% .6 of the time. Against these targets in slam mode, he does roughly about this much damage, give or take one to two wounds up or down, uh, just given the random nature or semi-random nature of dice. So against intercessors, he's likely to hit four times... Uh, with possible sixes exploding, likely five, which would be four to five wounds pretty consistently, with uh, four dead marines likely. Or if Contempt slows it down a little bit, but uh, saving on sixes, they're still likely to just end up dead anyways. Then against the Storm Surge, which I figured was sort of the uh, toughest vehicle around, and I figured would be the best challenge for the uh, Lord of Skulls to take down as a two plus save, four plus invulnerable, toughness eight, etc., uh, now, unbuffed, it's, again, getting a similar amount of hits. Four light, uh, four wounds getting through. Is it, it's wounding on twos still. Uh, likely two unsaved because of that four plus invulnerable, but still that is, you know, 12 damage, um, which is enough to bracket a Storm Surge. A Storm Surge already isn't going to like being in melee, so and it's going to be super inaccurate during shooting if it uh, has to fall back. Um, and it just... Uh, if, if it hits it, it's not going to be good. Uh, in sweep mode, against the same targets, as I figured they were sort of two good ends, being durable infantry in a very durable vehicle. Technically a uh, battle suit, but I think it has the vehicle keyword. Against intercessors, you're likely to get 12 to 15 hits, accounting for exploding sixes, with 9 to 10 successful wounds. And uh, they're saving f on fives, so 30% save. Likely 7, 8 to 8 dead marines. Uh, so certainly quite a lot of damage there. Uh, and against the Storm Surge, you're likely to average a similar amount of hits as it doesn't have any debuffs to that. But only six to seven wounds is it's only wounding on fours, uh, as we'll see here. As you can see, four wounds or eight damage. After all, it saves and everything. Uh, of course, these could swing higher or lower by about one to two wounds, I'd say, is the normal. Of course, on a very good day, you could roll out of your mind and do so much damage, or you could do way less. But then let's get into the buffs. In total, we have the plus one to hit and wound, and the four plus invulnerable save. Now, the four plus invulnerable save doesn't really matter here, but it's just a nice durability buff. The intercessors, uh, you're likely to get five to six hits uh, as you're hitting on twos uh, with exploding sixes. You're likely to land at least five, likely six, though, 
and again wounding on twos five to six wounds is very likely and six dead marines again it's not the best against them but it is very capable of crushing them very efficiently if the need arises like if you just need some of them dead then that's you know your best bet then next up uh, against the storm surge again similar hits similar wounds uh, and then what it really uh, makes a difference is since you got more attacks through and you're wounding more efficiently or not more efficiently but you're wounding more since you got more attacks you're likely to get three to four wounds through dealing 18 to 24 damage which not only completely diminishes its uh effectiveness at its bottom bracket because it's hitting on sixes i can't hit the broad side of the barn uh if, if you hit four wounds and it doesn't save you're probably just gonna flat out kill it well no you will because only has 22 wounds and then an average toughness eight vehicles i figured i'd throw this in it's similar to before but likely four to five wounds that go through so about 30 damage and then the final one in sweep mode, second verse, same as the first, plus one to hit, plus one to wound. So intercessors, uh, you're likely talking 15 to 18 hits, taking 16 as an average, 14 to 15 wounds, 14 dead marines rather easily. Uh, then with the storm surge, 15 to 18 hits, taking 16 as an average again, plus one to wound actually does matter here as it's strength eight versus toughness eight. You're likely to get 11 wounds with six failed saves for 12 damage, which is still respectable, but though obviously the smash mode is better against something like uh, Storm Surge. And then a no invul or toughness 8 vehicle, uh, or one with a 5 plus invul, they're pretty much the same. So say like a loyalist land raider. Uh, you just add two more wounds unsaved, so another 4 damage. Again, it's smash mode is for vehicles. It's going to just crush this mode like in, in that comparison. And then we also, I figured I'd throw in the shooting damage, uh, with the buffs, again, plus one to hit, plus one to wound. The damage of the Daemon Gore on Skull Hurler is about this. Against Intercessors, the Skull Hurler's likely to average six shots uh, against a five-man squad. Uh, obviously, against a six more, uh, it's likely to get a little bit higher. But still, six is sort of the average I'd give it. With four to five of those hitting, uh, since you're hitting on twos, uh, roughly four wounds getting through, three failed saves, and three dead marines as it's damage three. But again, at being a 2d6 weapon, it could easily swing higher than that. The gore cannon, I'd say average three-ish shots, maybe four, with three hits, uh, just because it's very likely to hit with only three rolls, hitting on a two plus. Two to three unsaved, and two dead marines as it's d3 plus three, and it's high AP, so it's hitting on sixes, etc., etc. And against the Storm Surge, the Skull Hurler is going to average, I'd say, 5 to 6, as you don't have the same benefit of them being infantry, which means they can't be in like a bigger squad, but you get that. So you're looking to get 4 to 5 hits with 2 or 3 unsaved, and I'd say, well, I wouldn't say, sorry, I got that confused with the other weapon. Uh, 9 damage is what I'd give it, uh, about on average. And then the Gore Cannon at 3 shots, I'd say, is, again, respectable, just being at D6 shots, like, like 2 hits, maybe 3 with one to two unsaved you're and then d3 plus three i'd say you're bound to get around 10 damage uh, so again still very respectable and that plus its melee you're gonna just destroy it i'd say just flat out done the thing's dead unless you swing immensely low which can happen there's a guy in my friends group who uh, really just has the worst luck with dice but that's for a story for another day i suppose so in summary, uh, if it hits something, even something tough, like the Storm Surge with that 4 plus invulnerable save, it can pretty easily destroy it. it. It can actually destroy it at range if it swings high enough, but if it gets into melee with those buffs, it's just gonna just obliterate its targets. There's nothing that can really survive its onslaught. Uh, vehicles taking 6 damage is just gonna demolish them. Same with characters. Uh, and then against infantry... Uh, I'd say against, like, Space Marine class, you're going to want to go with Sweep Mode, but maybe against, like, Custodies or similar toughness values, I'd actually still go for Smash, as you don't need to get as many wounds through to kill the same number of models. So, uh, I've been your host, Spoons Rattling. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe uh, to see my uh, short little mini-series on assembling and painting this beast in Alpha Legion colors, which is going to be a different uh, sort of... Uh, what's the word method than i normally do my alpha legion because using contrast paint on a corn load of skulls uh is possibly the greatest disservice you could do to a model <laughs> so i'm going to use a variety of techniques and some new paints to get a very interesting looking color scheme that's still very recognizably 
uh, Alpha Legion, of course. So remember to like, comment, and subscribe to keep posted for that. My name is Vince Spoons Rattling. See ya.